Welcome to Cruise Control, ladies and gentlemen. This is Abbas with you, your host. And today, I'm privileged to have my guest alongside with me, Mr. Marcelo Pereira, who is the CEO of uh, the Oman International Hospital. And I'm here to talk to him about the hospital, of course. Now, first off, right off the bat, when I walked into this hospital, didn't feel like a hospital, okay? So let's uh, hear it from Mr. Marcelo. Mr. Marcelo, welcome to the show. Hello, Abbas. Thank you so much. So tell me about this hospital. A new hospital in town is always a good sign. Yeah. But what I noticed that your hospital is a little different. So yes. I want to know about the objectives, the aspirations, the, the goals behind your hospital. Tell me a little about Oman International Hospital. All right. So first, when you go to a hospital, as you say, but normally it's not uh, a pleasant situation because you go in pain and suffering. You're concerned. You, uh, you need to take care of your health and you are uh, deeply concerned sometimes. Sometimes you go for just a consultation. But anyway, it's not... Uh, always a pleasant situation. Most of it is not a pleasant situation because you go in pain, you go in a loss. So you have to yeah. understand that. So in this uh, project, we try to combine a uh, very modern uh, building where you feel comfortable as you saw, uh, you've, you are comfortable in this building right. and combine it with uh, the utmost technology, state of the art equipment and also very skilled and trained and experienced uh, medical team. So you can give uh, to people a very, very, uh, uh, at most attention for high quality uh, medical care, but at an affordable price. Also, <laughs> that's, that's an important. the catch over there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's the catch, the affordable price. to have <laughs> things at affordable price. But right. combining a very, very modern and uh, comfortable and effic effective and uh, um, I would say, uh, nice friendly building okay right. to have also the staff prepared to give you uh, all the attention to reduce your waiting times to be uh, prepared to take care of your needs on a on a, on a uh, permanently so your experience is not that bad and you remember the hospital is not a, such a bad experience R i yeah. i remembered already even though i walked <laughs> in uh, to interview you yeah. not as a patient yeah. but the first thing that i noticed was that the building was very airy it has a lot of space it makes yeah. you feel like you can breathe yeah, as soon as you walk in it doesn't matter which area we were in in the hospital yeah. we never felt like we've been pushed in by the wall so yeah, yeah. that's one thing that I noticed yeah. as well so now I noticed that Oman International Hospital it thrives on technology mm -hmm. so how does the hospital blend tech with the services it provides mm -hmm. technology is the base of uh, healthcare uh, services because it's the where we go uh, and we rely on to give you the most uh, state-of-the-art uh, solutions. Okay? Right. So also, uh, not only we have, uh, and uh, later on, Mr. Manuel Carvalho, which is our CEO, yeah. can go in deeper detail on our fit-outs in terms of equipment, but also uh, we can have the backup of our international uh, uh, partnerships that we have around with us. Uh, in Idi Ahmed is a Portuguese group, is an European group, and we have uh, a lot of uh, partnerships with universities, uh, excellent centers, m mainly in Europe and the United States, that can back us up not only by using that most technology, but also to having the most uh, prepared and experienced and skilled technicians and doctors. Right. Uh, it helps us also not only to provide immediately uh, better solutions and more accurate diagnosis, but also to have a second opinion when the cases might require it. So can, uh, can before we jump on to the second question, what yeah. attracted your team uh, about Oman to bring the franchise to our country? Yeah, uh, it's not a properly a franchise, it's a, it's a joint venture right. that we have with uh, the Swail Bahuan Group, with Oman right. Brunek Investment, Investment Company uh, and Ideal Med. We uh, delivered a turnkey solution by providing the, the most, most uh, complete and comprehensive solution regarding not only the building design, the technology uh, fit outs, the procedures, the technicians, the backup for all the network we have uh, worldwide. And it happened that uh, Oman Brunei Investment Company was uh, searching for a company to, uh, an operator for the project. Uh, we established contact uh, with this uh, company in 2016, I'm, as far as I can remember. Right. And then from that point on, it was being a very, very fruitful uh, conversation in between this uh, partner, also Swagil Bahuan Group, and ourselves. To bring, the, as uh, I said before, 
a differentiated project with different technology, with different staff, with different mindset that we, know we want to bring to OMA. It's not saying that the others are not uh, doing properly. We don't, uh, we don't have the right. We're not uh, those that are coming to say the others are wrong. No, the others are doing right, are doing their role, but we want to differentiate ourselves by bringing the utmost technology with a more prepared staff and a different kind of mindset. My last question to you would be, tell me about the different centers that this, this hospital has. For mm -hmm. example, you have uh, one for ortho and spine, you have mm -hmm. one for, uh, that's called Oman Vision, if I'm yeah. not wrong. Yeah. And I'm guessing it's for the eyes, of course. Yeah, yes. And uh, so different centers, tell me about uh, these different, you have for women and children as well? Yeah. So we have uh, the Women and Children's Center, which is run by our uh, clinical director, Tiago uh, Ferraz. It's a Portuguese uh, experienced doctor. We have also the Oman Vision Center, which will be led by Dr. Mohamed Alabri and uh, Ahmed uh, Almaskari. We have the Heart and Vascular Center that will be led by a very skillful, prepared team in Oman. Uh, the team leader is uh, Dr. Mohamed uh, Almukaimi. And we have you remember the all the names. That's <laughs> impressive. <laughs> and we have, it's not easy for us. Yeah, it is not, not easy. To names to are not easy names. at all. <laughs> not easy. And finally, we have the ortho and spine center that will be led by Dr. Sultan Al Maskari. There are uh, very skillful, very very experienced, very known doctors in Oman. We also try to bring the best uh, of the best in the Oman market so we can provide the best uh, service to the population of Oman and also to those that, all that uh, lives and comes to Oman to have uh, a proper treatment if they need it. But uh, to have this uh, skillful and experienced team also provide the confidence and the comfort to all, uh, not only our team, but to all the population that we have in the best of the best and they can be uh, safety, uh, safely uh, coming to Oman International Hospital, once again, at an affordable price. <laughs> at an affordable <laughs> price. Uh, Mr. Marcelo keeps yeah. mentioning at an affordable price. Yeah, it is. That means uh, that is one promise that he's going to keep. So, of course, no one prays for anyone else to get sick, but if you do, you know the place to be, Oman International Hospital. Right here, thank you so much, Mr. Thank Marcelo. Thank you so much, Mr. Uh, pleasure talking to you. Now My we'll uh, move to Mr. Manuel and right. ask him a few more questions. Uh, take care, have a pleasant evening. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.